Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today you will join me here at Solitude Revival Festival. This is a race going on since 1903, every year. A race of classic cars and classic motorcycles. You can find here anything from GT cars, motorcycles, uh, race cars, formula cars, all from back in the 60s and 50s. So we'll go check out what race cars we can see here in the paddocks and of course what other cars we can see in the parking lots because usually people bring all kinds of nice cars around here. This racetrack is around the forests of Leonberg and Stuttgart and it's been going on since 1903. It's been named after the Solitude Castle since then. So let's check out, see what we have here and see you later. Check out these two Porsches, the Carrera RS, the 911, the 911S, the Carrera S. Let's see what else we have here in the parking lot. Here we have an old Jeep Wrangler, 4 liter V8, great condition, obviously. Next to it is a bug. In front of it, as you can see here, the Porsche 944. And we also have some American muscle, Corvette. And yet another 911, beautiful condition, as always. German cars are not allowed to have anything on the road, any problems, any body issues or mechanical issues. A more modern 911, it's the Carrera. to the front of the pack and see what we have here. Our Porsches. Well, it's Stuttgart, it's the home of Porsche, so another Carrera S Cabrio. A beautiful E36 Coupe here next to another Porsche Carrera. Here we have the Audi S8, the first Audi S8 in beautiful condition the mob car of the 90s. Here we have an Alfa Roadster. Here we have the Mercedes SL. I'm not sure what engine. I think it's a 5 liter SL 500. Next to a Porsche 944. Moving on. And here we have a, an old Lancia. And up front, we see a BMW M3 A92. Mustang GT, the Coyote V8. The other mob, star from, mob car from the 90s, the E38 7 Series. Don't know what engine, but I'm guessing it's the V8, 735 or 740. Stunning looking M4. Carbon fiber wing. BBS rims. These things look great. And here we have a GTR. And here we have a Nissan GTR R32. Really cool shape. I like the rims, calipers. We see here an M2. Beautiful blue color. And in front of it, a Porsche, of course. Really cool carbon fiber diffuser on the M2. And next to it, we have an E30. <laughs> Facelift. 
with some BBS rims. And next to it, a Mini Cooper, the original Mini Cooper. And here, I wouldn't think I would find in a parking lot, but we have a De Tomaso Pantera. This will build in a very few pieces, but still a 90s, 80s car. Here we also find the older 7 Series. I also like these cars, they look great for their age. An E32 7 Series. Take a 735. Going through this parking lot, we see another blue M2. But without that cool carbon diffuser, still looks great. Especially this blue in the sunlight. Here we have a beautiful red Austin Healey right next to a Ferrari 348. Looks amazing. Really good condition. So here we find ourselves in the classic car pedal. Just take a look at all these cars that are here. Like from the old school Bentley back there which used to win races here on the solitude track, all the way to the first BMW race car from the 60s. Just take a look. Speaking of Bentley, the Bentley is actually leaving now. We don't see electronic steering or any amenities of some sort in this car. Just pure mechanical connection with the car. Look at the steering column. Check out the exhaust. Really cool. This is one of the most pure mechanical. Classic Alpha. Cool. Here we have a Maserati racing car. I'm guessing around 50s, 60s. Apparently it was at the Goodwood Revival. I don't know exactly what year, maybe it says. No. But apparently it won a lot of races. Check out the brake cooling. Really cool 911 here. At the end, definitely yeah. race car, roll cage, and everything.
somewhere around here, I was told that I can find the Porsche Safari, the off-road Porsche 911. The music is definitely in tone with the theme of the whole event. Oh, found it. There it is. The Porsche Safari, the 911 Safari. Looks amazing. Just check it out. It even has a winch and a shovel in case you get stuck. Which I doubt you will. The Mark 1. Mark 1 original Mustang. These things are rare. I'm glad to actually see one here. Perfect. The racing paddocks of the motorcycles. Let's see what they have here. All of them are 1960s, 70s race bikes. The Benelli. This should be a something around 125-150 cubic cc. Farilla. Cool BMW. Imagine racing on these now. It would be so much fun. And now I just got into the racing car pedal. Formula based racing cars. These things are cool. Imagine how it was to live in the 60s. Driving these things. Going to some races, driving these things, having to phone your friends to meet somewhere, not text or WhatsApp. Look at this BMW, the shape, the condition. We have an Abarth, an original Abarth. Apparently this is the Formula Ford, 1600. I'm guessing it's a Cosworth engine. We have to find the one that is stripped down. Really good. I like how the air filter just stays out, stay, hangs out. Look at the exhaust on this thing. The headers. So one way to get your race car to the racing circuit if you didn't have a trailer is this. Being the 60s, you probably have a Volkswagen van, the T1. Why not put a racing car on it, right? cruising through the paddock. I just stumbled upon something interesting here in the parking lot. Like more American than most of the cars parked around here. Like this GMC Sierra Denali, a dually. So probably it's a, yeah, it's a 3500. It's huge for Germany. Nothing like a 60s Cadillac. 
not sure exactly, but I think it's a Duville, the Cadillac Duville. Check out the parking lot, as I said before. 944 here, we turn around, then we have an Urus. Why not, no? Lamborghini Urus. Really nice blue color. And right next to it, a McLaren. Why not, right? This is a McLaren 570S. Check out the carbon fiber diffuser, the side skirts. And right next to it, the Audi Quattro, the original one. Here we have the Maserati coming. this out really well. Here we are about at the middle of the track and I just found that Porsche has their own paddock here and in front they just put the GT3 RS in really cool spec, lime green. Check out the air vents on the fenders. Let's see what else they have here in the paddock. It's Porsche, so I'm sure they won't let me down. Some of the 60s race cars. All the way to the 911. This one running on renewable fuel. Here you can see the evolution of 911s across the years. Three hundred SL Roadster, 1957. It's so cool. These things are all full carbon fiber. Look at the headers going to the exhaust. Just a lot of Cobras. Look at this. What a view. So I'm sitting here between two original Cobras. Think about it. These cars have been built around a thousand of all, from which 25 are here in Germany.
One of the guys told me it's really hard to get one of these homologated here in Germany, mostly because of the sound it makes, how loud it is. Here in Germany, they have very strict regulations and rules about that. So it's a shame not to be able to drive these things every day or as often as possible, not only on the racetrack. Look at the cooling where the fans come. Here we can also find the black matte Audi R8 Roadster and the 911 Turbo S. Nice pair of cars parked here, isn't it? And behind, in the grass, we also find another 911 Turbo S. Here we have the Alpha Paddock. Check them out. Next to them, we also have a Audi Quattro, the original Quattro. Full rally spec. The Abarth Coupe. This is the TC Corsa Coupe, Group 2, Group 2 rally car. Look at it, 1000 cc. And the Renault Alpine race car. I actually just saw one normal, not race car, not so long ago. This is Audi up tuning in the 70s, 80s, 80s actually. The Scirocco, original Scirocco. Twin turbocharged. And amongst these brake race cars here, you can also find part something like this. An Aston Martin Vanquish S. Roadster. Carbon fiber splitter. And that back end could recognize it everywhere. Nice diffuser, carbon fiber, of course. Next to it, a 944 Turbo, I think. Yeah, 944 Turbo. A Carrera GT version, not the Carrera GT you might think of. I didn't like them very much at first, but they kind of grew on me. And the GT3 RS. And here, also on RS. 356. 
coupe and the roadster. Right here. And the 911 with some interesting graphs on it. Here we have the 928. 5 liter V8 Porsche from the 90s. Here we have the BMW product starting with the M3 for the P36. Next to it, BMW 2002. The Turbo, I think, yeah. It's amazing. Here we have the full racing BMW 3000 CSL. Looks amazing. Check out the fueling line, fueling caps, and a very complicated dashboard. Just a panel and some gauges. And a lot of wires. rest of it, full roll cage, bucket seats, all you need for racing. The McLarens, the Ferraris, all the race cars in the 60s. Check out the scaling in this. Someone has started something loud. We're gonna go check it out. But before, let's see those portions. Let's see what's making that racket. And the Tommaso Pantera leaving or trying to leave. Now we are here next to the 
like it. The cars are passing by just here on my right and on the left. All kinds of food and drinks and whatever you want. Yeah. As always, I'm very excited when I see one. Just show you a BMW M1, the original M1. Beautiful car. And the color is amazing here in the sun. It's stunning. This BMW M1 next to the next favorite car you can actually see here, the BMW M3. First M3, best M3, in my opinion. Look at them. Marvel. So it's time to end the video here. I hope you liked the Solitude Revival Festival 2022. Please give a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so it will help me bring more content like this and even better in the upcoming future. And don't forget to leave in the comments below what events would you like me to go to and what videos would you like me to make. Reviews of cars, track days, whatever. Just let me know in the comments below. So until next time, take care and see you in the next video. Bye.